I'm Tim Gillett, I'm 26 and I'm a patent examiner. So I work at IP Australia. Uh, we used to be called the Patent Office. Yeah, we're in Canberra. Patents are, they're all about uh, intellectual property. Someone comes up with a new idea for something and that could be anything. It could be a washing machine, it could be a fridge, it could be a TV, it could be a mobile phone, whatever. They get intellectual property rights, which are kind of like copyright, which most people have heard of. And they use the patent to pay for all of their uh, research and development costs. So some of the patents you might have actually heard of, which have come through us, like baby safety capsules, surf life-saving reels, the rotary clothesline, dual flush toilets, with patents which are need to apply for the patent protection before the invention is published. And that's really where I come into it. So in terms of Apple and the iPhone, they obviously have patents to cover the actual phone and the hardware of the phone, but even things such as how you go about controlling it, how you scroll up and down the screen, how you can click on things to open them, those things can be patented as well. As an examiner, I look at their patent applications and I accept them, I reject them, I suggest some changes they should make. I don't need to know in detail every part of their, their research, but all the things I do need to know, they put in their application, so they need to, need to have described exactly what their invention is. So for a gesture, maybe that would be you move your finger from here and then you move your finger over there and then this is what the outcome of that is. Uh, so I have a look at that and then I might do a search and see if I can find someone else who's done that. My job uh, does involve a lot of looking around at what other people have done. So as part of that we form things called three-person teams and essentially I come up with a strategy for whatever it is I need to find. Now, okay, if it's for an iPhone then maybe I need to find this gesture or this bit of hardware. And I come up with a strategy for uh, finding that and then I discuss with uh, two other people uh, to see what they think about how I'm uh, searching it. And they may agree with me. And, uh, they might also have some other suggestions, maybe things I hadn't thought of. Maybe they, they actually even know of a particular invention that someone's already come up with that is something I'm looking for. Uh, so it helps to have a few other people look over my work as well. For the most part it is a desk job. I do spend a lot of time at my desk, but I suppose that can be fun too. I sit there and listen to music a lot of the time while I'm working. I might see a few interesting bits of technology I've never seen before. Much time I try to get out and about. Uh, sometimes there's a, a sports competition that uh, a lot of people in, in IP Australia participate in. So they play like ultimate frisbee and hockey and cricket. When I was younger, I wanted to be a lawyer. When I went to uni, I did uh, engineering and IT at, at, at ANU. When I finished at ANU, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and I kind of fell into work as a patent examiner. But to tell you the truth, on the day I started, I didn't know a lot about it, uh, but that's fine, because IP Australia teaches all we need to know, and they give me all of the uh, legal training and what we need. I'm also doing a master's in industrial property at the moment while I'm here, which gives me a bit of an edge. As a patent examiner, you have a great career structure. The qualifications you get at IP Australia would take you elsewhere. A number of examiners have gone into other jobs. Some people can become a patent attorney. Uh, some people go into commercialisation. Big companies, they need people to advise them on how to go about protecting their ideas. So they have the research and development, they need to know how to protect it. Just about everything you've ever seen has been patented at some point. Some of the really important items over the years you may have heard of, the Hills Hoist, the Orbital Engine, the Race Cam. Patents have been around for a very, very long time. There is a famous scientist which everyone has heard of, Albert Einstein. He was a chair patent examiner, among uh, many other things he did. So I've got an engineering and an IT degree. You really need those qualifications to understand the technical subject matter you're reading. Anyone applying for this job, I'd suggest that an interest in technical subject matter is good. You'll spend a lot of time around those things, and if they interest you, it's a good thing. The best thing about being a patent examiner is the flexibility. I love turning up wearing just casual clothes. I love the fact we can, we can also essentially work the hours we want. So overall, I really like my job.